I don't feel as smart as my peers. I don't feel as talented as them. I look at the stuff they put out there. I'm like, wow, that is so much better than my stuff. Oh, that's, that was really smart. Oh, wow. Look at what they're able to create. I just don't feel as capable as my peers. And I'm not being humble braggy here. I'm being serious. I look at my peers and I feel a little intimidation that talking about the, pe the people who have been in business in my industry as, as long as I have or in, in a similar amount of uh, experience, I look at their stuff and I'm like, wow, um, I, my stuff is, doesn't look as good as theirs, isn't as brilliant as theirs, um, is not as effective perhaps as theirs, I don't know. Um, but what sets me apart, I think, and what my strength is, is that I just keep showing up. I just keep on, I just, I keep the faith that I will keep getting better, albeit very slowly, if I just keep showing up. And I'm hoping that this will, this message will inspire any of you who also feel uh, like you're not as good as your peers, that it'll help you to stay the course, keep showing up, keep practicing, keep putting your things out there, keep noticing of the things, of the many things you put out there, what is helping people the most. And then as you study the things you put out there to help people the most, you'll naturally have this instinct to keep leaning into the things that help people the most. And I think that's really the key. I think that's the, maybe there's a, if there's a, a shortcut to success, um, there's no shortcut to success. That's why I laugh. But if there was, in terms of putting things out there that are successful, that are effective, um, content and offerings, it's to talk to more of your people, the people who follow you on social media, starting with your friends. If you have zero social media, you at least have a few friends or family members or people willing to talk to you. It's to talk to people in your audience. Like I said, all of us have an audience. The fact, the day you were born, the day you were born, you had an audience, you know, your mother, okay? Whoever was in the hospital room, that was your audience the day you were born. And then as you keep get, becoming an adult now, you have at least one human being in your life who's willing to look at something you post, right? Uh, being facetious, most of us have several dozen or hundreds of Facebook friends or something like that, right? Everybody has an audience. And the more you talk to your audience from a place of genuine care and curiosity in terms of the areas that you would love to do work in, the areas that you've been studying or working on or you know, trying to help yourself and help other people with, if you can talk about those areas and have genuine curiosity and caring for what they need and want in your areas of passion and expertise, the more you do that, the more ideas you're gonna have for content and offerings that actually serve your people. A lot of times what happens is we, um, those of us particularly who are more introverted or more sensitive, we are just in our own bubble so much. We just try to come up with our own ideas and think, oh, if I just post this on social media, it will, it'll work. And it doesn't work and we get discouraged. What's the solution? I just said, talk to more people from that state of genuine caring and curiosity regarding your areas of expertise and passion. And the more you talk to people and find out what they want and need it within your areas of expertise and passion, the more you do that, the more you have grounded empathy and grounded ideas, like ideas that, that resonate because it's coming from them. They say they need this. They say they want this, right? And so that's what I just keep doing. Year after year after year, despite how inadequate I feel within my niche. Like, oh, I know I could do a lot better. Look at them, look, look like they're, they're, they're way smarter. They, they produce this amazing thing and look at me. No matter how inadequate I feel, 
I keep showing up year after year, trying to talk to as many people as I can. If I'm working, when I'm working with clients, I try to get as curious as I can and to, and, to, and to notice what it is that they're really wanting and needing and try to be as empathetic as I can and then try to create content and offerings that are meeting them where they're at. The more, they, the more I do that, the more I find myself being able to sustain a business, right? And, and finding people who say that I've been helpful to them. I'm super, super grateful when that, when that ever that happens. But that's, that's the solution for someone as dumb as me, right? I just keep showing up, just keep trying to be in a helping state, just keep trying to notice what's, what's helpful of the things I put out there. You know, first, finding out what they need, trying to put stuff out that might be helpful, noticing what is helpful. And I just keep showing up and doing that year after year. And here I am as even no matter how inadequate and dumb I feel, I feel, I do feel fulfilled as I, as I look back and look at the people that say that they've been helped. I feel fulfilled and I feel encouraged to continue going. So whatever stage you're at, if you ever feel inadequate or not as smart as other people, may I be an example of someone who feels that way often and still show up because I just pay attention. I just focus on the people that, that are willing to, to listen to me, if any, even if it's one person, the people who are willing for me to help them. And I just focus on that helping state. I hope this is helpful, and I, I always welcome your comments and questions below. Thank you.